Making the lead, Charlie Kronos pulled third to first, and there goes Duke of York, fresh and brave, out from fourth. Halftime was 57-4. and four. Now it's getting interesting again onto the final turn. We may have a stakes record in sight here. Duke of York up on the outside, chases Charlie Kronos. Watching Andover Hall, he's still back there, sixth and three wide on that final turn. Picking up third is Mr. August, and there's Andover Hall improving again now fourth. Backing away from being hard spent early was Trump Image from fifth. That that's Trotting Houdini, sixth on the outside. American Nose is wide from seventh. And out of contention early after breaks, Earl Hanover. Look at Andover Hall circling up and taking aim on the front off three quarters. Charlie Kronos led him into the stretch. 127 and four. Andover Hall. And Campbell hit the lead and get first urging into the final eighth of the mile. And perfect tactics by Campbell to lay off all of that early battling and speed. Here's Andover Hall on the clock in the Campbellville Stakes. 30 elimination, 157 and 3 over Charlie Kronos, Mr. August, and Trotting Houdini. The still undefeated Andover Hall is back after winning the third elimination of the Campbellville Stakes in the fourth race. Garland Lobel, two-year-old brown colt from Amur Angus, owned by Erky Lockinen of Georgetown, trained by Bobby Stewart, driven to victory by John Campbell. That's five for five lifetime, 157 and three. Equaling his life's mark, missing the stakes record by just a fifth of a second was Andover Hall in the fourth.